teaching how to do these flat lays. And um, one thing that this lady is saying is, okay, one thing she's saying is um, you need to like research and see what your style is. And so that's what I'm doing now. I do know what my style is because I wanted to do food photography at a point in time, which I still do. And the food photography that I really enjoy is uh, dark and moody. And I, I still enjoy it. Like, I mean, obviously my whole shop and everything about me and even my art, which I mean, you'll see down the line when I actually get into it is dark and moody. So, I mean, I kind of want my Instagram to reflect that too. And I, I, I don't know, I just, like, I like dark wood, I like the, the warm, soft light, I like candles, um, I like it when it's like a, a grayish outcast, like outside like it is now, I think it's about the rain, I'm not sure, but, like, I just, I just kind of like that, like a mood, <laughs> I kind of just like that, like a cozy, a real cozy soft romantic mood I guess you could say so what I'm thinking about right now is I think I might want to go ahead and fiddle with this Instagram stuff um I'm gonna pull out my crate and set it up against the window and see how that'll work so yeah let's do that And they told me to come in, so Kiki, you're going to the vet. I'm not going to bring a camera or anything, I'll just update you when I get back. Because she's been throwing up, she's clearly losing fluids, but not enough to the point that she's dehydrated. I don't know, I don't like how that looks. <laughs> I really don't like how it looks. I'm still trying though, still trying to get the mood and still trying to get, um, still trying to get the mood and still trying to get everything to work together, but I don't know, we'll see. Oh, you can definitely see it over here, all the colors. The little things, they're back. I think it's cute. I'm going to use it as a color palette. <laughs> I think what I want to do is redo my packaging, like, station or whatever. Because as of right now, this is, like, what it looks like. And, I don't know. I just kind of want to make more use of it. I got these two um, storage containers from Walmart. I think this is like a fishing container or something. Um, but I just want to get more organized. And that's how it comes out. I just want to get more organized with what I have. And I was thinking that the acrylic, not the acrylic. I was thinking that the enamel pins can go in here. Because I only got a um, hundred of them for right now and I was thinking that I could just um, if there's any A, B, and C I could just put them in um, I could just put them in little bags and label them and stick them in here and these are going to be for the acrylic charms and I'm going to do the same thing since these have like since this has three levels I was thinking um, of labeling these, you know, A, B, and C, whichever one has the most, put them down here, and, you know, I can just label them, so I know what I'm getting, so I know what I'm looking for, and I have all of these sample, um, sample books from, like, this one is from Moo, uh, that was the business card one, and this is also from Moo, and this was just, like, the whole sample book. And then I have one from Mixam. And I'm supposed to be getting one for printed coming in here pretty soon. 
and I don't know. I don't know if I want to put them in here because I do reach in. Uh, I reach more in this one more than I reach in this one. Something needs to be changed, and I'm not exactly looking to change my um, desk because I like it where it is, and I'm not really looking to change anything up here. I don't want to change that. So, it's like, I can't really do much. So, I feel like I have to tackle this to make me feel better. <laughs> now it's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Okay. Monday, I didn't do anything. Tuesday, felt horrible. Today, didn't do anything. Um, I did, I mean, I didn't do, a, you know, a normal amount of work. I did sketch. And, um... I think that's about it. Like, I just sketched some stuff on this page. Get that done because it needs to be something just needs to change. I just feel like I need to clean something. Ugh, I don't know. I need to do something. And I think, I don't know. I think my coping mechanism is cleaning. Like, or organizing. Better yet. I think it's organizing. I do love to organize. It does give me a peace of mind. to be cleaned it needs to be dusted definitely definitely dusted <laughs> i really don't like all of this on my desk i'm gonna move it back over here something on my mind and it was about like me spending money <laughs> it's about me spending money on like things that I would later to regret like I don't know I get so excited about stuff about like new projects and uh, a recent one that I got excited about was my resin stuff and I was so excited about it I really wanted to do it I was all in and come to find out i got like scammed and i have bought some resin and they like i have some resin off ebay and the seller like disappeared and the item disappeared and it says it was shipped but it, it it's not like even in the system so i'm not getting that and so i had to reorder some resin which is coming in april the 1st I bought all of my resin stuff and now I kind of just I kind of just wish I didn't even 
buy most of it. I don't know. I I don't know why. I guess I'm just I'm just kind of feeling a little down about it. That it's like I wanted all of this stuff to be. Um, I had like a date set for all of this stuff, and it's kind of discouraging to me when you have a date and you can't fulfill that date that you wanted to. Like I wanted to go ahead and have a whole bunch of stuff. Well, not a whole bunch, but like. I wanted to have most of the things for my shop launch, like two to three products in each category. Like I have prints, pens, stickers. I'm probably gonna, <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up doing charms because I actually do really enjoy them. I really wanted to do some coasters too, and like I have a section called resin art, and it it's just gonna have coasters on there, and I was gonna do some resin art pieces like some 3d resin art pieces and i'm still gonna do it but i don't think i'm gonna do it long term like i was just gonna experiment with it but just now i just kind of feel discouraged about it it's just like um just because things aren't just going the way that i would hope they were gonna go i was hoping i would get to open my shop april the 5th um that's my birthday so I was hoping I was going to be able to do that as like a birthday present to myself. It's like, hey, I opened up my shop. I did it. <sighs> but I don't know. I don't know. It's at the end of March. April 5th is next week, I think. It's next week. And it's just like, it's not that I can't get it done because most of the stuff that I would have to do Like, it's not that I can't get it done, but, like, today is Wednesday. And, like, I just, I just, it's just, something's just about this week just has not been it for me. I don't even, I don't know what it is. It's just not been it. I don't know. I wasn't feeling it Sunday. I wasn't feeling it Monday. I wasn't feeling it Tuesday. I definitely wasn't feeling it yesterday. Mm -mm, definitely was not. I was upset yesterday. I was just like, you know, I was like, dude, <laughs> I felt lost yesterday because I was going to, um, I was planning on doing a zine and I can't actually do it now. And so I kind of felt lost. I was like, well, I spent all this time like hyping this up for myself and like, oh yeah, we finna get this out and we finna do this and do that. And now I can't even do it. And I'm just like, I just, I was just like, dang, what am I supposed to do now? And it's not like I didn't have any uh, other plans after that. <laughs> oh, I did. It was just that I was, that's what was going on now. That That is what was going to be released on the shop first. And then we were going to go, you know release the other stuff in the summer and to and do two other launches so technically I think I'm just gonna do three launches for some stuff three launches this year I'm gonna do the actual store opening launch which is gonna be in the summer or not it's, it's going to be summer themed I was thinking about doing it or open it May the 1st and then having pre-orders and stuff like that and then going into June and then um, in October there was going to be a Halloween launch and then November there was going to be like the Christmas launch and stuff like that and so I was going to do that all November and like the first two weeks of December so just in case you know if anybody's international they probably need to go ahead and do it in November so you can get to them before Christmas and stuff like that and after that I was going to shut the shop down um, because I would be moving and I have a moving vlog and all that stuff so I'll be vlogging that and after that I was probably going to end up opening in February then since January is I'm going to be like moving and I need to I don't know what I need to see what the year is because I'm not is this the year of the pig? 
but I need to look up to see what the year is because I wanted to make like a New Year's pin and a print and maybe some stickers. So we'll see what the year is and I'm going to see what the animal is and I'm probably going to end up doing that when I reopen. And then I'm probably going to do like a spring one since I didn't get to do a spring one this year. I'm probably going to do it next year and... I don't know. We'll just come up with some stuff. That's all I got is for the New Year's and a spring like thing. But uh, yeah, I was excited to have two zines under my belt this year. But I'm gonna have one, which is I mean that's fine. I just it kind of just was like so sudden that I couldn't do it. I just I was tired. <laughs> I just sat there and I was just like I don't even want to do anything anymore. Like I did eventually get like some stuff written down like at three o'clock in the morning and i kind of felt a little bit better now that i had something at least to put in my shop and stuff like that which i just narrowed it down and seeing what i could do but yeah um anyway all of that to say that um yeah back to the that was a whole thing back to the resin thing what am i doing Okay, I was supposed to be talking and then taking all this stuff out. And now I got to concentrate to see what I need to put back in here. I'm always, anything that I do in the present is always for the future. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure maybe a lot of people do that. I don't know. But what I mean by that is is that I always make decisions based on what I want my future to look like. Because I already know what I want. So I make decisions based on that. Like... What I was saying earlier is how I was going to get an extension cord for this. It's like technically I can make do with unplugging and plugging because I'm not going to be here for that long. Like when I move into the new apartment that has Wi-Fi, then I'm going to connect all my devices onto the Wi-Fi and hook it up to my uh, laptop and stuff. And I'm going to do it wirelessly. So I'm not going to need all the wires. So what is the point of me buying another extension cord? I already got one. I don't need another one so I like I'm saying that I can make do with what I have now I see I don't have Wi-Fi at my house right now I'm just using my grandmother's because she lived like right there so her Wi-Fi reaches to my house and I just used hers for what I need to do over here and if I need to like upload a YouTube video I'll just go to her house and like be there for a little bit so I can have a stronger connection to it and um yeah, it is frustrating not having Wi-Fi at your house and having to plug up everything and do all that. But I, I just, I mean, it's not in the plan because I'm going to move. So why would I get Wi-Fi, spend that money, get in the two-year contract, can't move? You know, like, I, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to have to be patient and wait and make do with what I have until I can get, you know, until I can get there. So, and according to all this packaging, you know, I'm also an impulse buyer sometimes. It's just when I get really, really excited about something, I just want to go ahead and buy it and have it and pre I want to be prepared. So, like, all of the stuff that you see that I have, I was trying to prepare for when I did open my shop so that I have some stuff. Even if it starts off slow, which is fine, you know, I still have it here with me that I can just go ahead and boom, 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 send the order off because I already have it. And I don't actually re I half regret and half don't regret it because the only reason I kind of regret it is because like I found new like new paper that I want to use instead of the ones that I have. And so I kind of I kind of just wish that I would have waited for the paper because now I know what type of paper that I like and I like thicker paper. And this is, I mean, this paper isn't bad. It's just I've felt the thicker paper. And I just enjoy that more than the the standard paper. But, I mean, it doesn't make the art any better, less, you know, I just like to feel the paper, so. Okay, so everything is actually done. I had to um, stop recording because the cart got full and I had to transfer the files to my computer. So, um there won't be any time lapse of me actually putting stuff up but um i got it done and the thing that changed is my scale is now over there by my other printer um i put my new black mailers here set those up 
There's some black millage right here and behind. Um, I have like my print stuff up here now instead of over here. So I can just pull it out. And this is like my labels and this is the practice paper. And in here I put the other pack of black mailers in here because this is just like my extra stuff things that I need this is just some extra stuff and this is where I just put it, the other packaging I put the cellophane bags in here too and this has my other mink stuff that I'm not going to use just yet and I put the bigger mink um, things down here underneath this and I have my business cards right here my Cricut cutter, my Cricut mat, and my mink stuff over here. So, yeah. Uh, this is my sticker paper. Uh, this is the white one, and underneath is the clear one. And I think I already said these are my glass and, glass and bags. So, and it looks so, like, um, it just looks so empty over here since the um oh I need to put another bag in that since this one the other I put the other light in the living room and I just kept this one because I don't know it kind of filled the space over here a little bit but um yeah that is what this space looks like so this is what it looks like with the lights off but yeah oh also this is the new little thing right here because I moved that Cintiq because it will be gone here pretty soon. Um, so I just have my printer and then this is my enamel pen box and my acrylic charm box. And then I have my uh, scale because um, since I'm printing the labels off on this, I'm just going to like, I, I don't know. I'll just come over here and like slap the package on there and see what it weighs and, you know, write it down and stuff like that. But um, other than that, everything is good. I'm happy with where everything went. The only problem that I have now is I don't know where to put this stuff. Or I think this is going to go on my wall. Something with that before like I'm just completely done. And I guess that is it for the little tour. The little makeover.